The European Union carried out stress tests to ensure a nuclear disaster like the one that occurred at Japan's Fukushima plant is not repeated on European soil. 18 nations took part in the study. All 14 EU states that operate nuclear power plants, as well as Lithuania, Switzerland, Ukraine and Croatia. The big message? Nearly all of the 134 reactors across 68 sites tested require safety upgrades. These are needed to cope with extreme emergencies, such as natural disasters, explosions and even malicious attacks. Now, France is coming under particular scrutiny. It is Europe's largest nuclear energy producer, relying on reactors for more than three quarters of its electricity. Every single one of its 58 reactors in 19 sites were found to have specific safety failings. The French uh, particularly have had many accidents which have not been reported uh, in the past. Uh, it used to be that in France if you were sceptical about nuclear power it was almost, uh, it was almost the equivalent of being uh, seditious. But in fact the French are beginning to worry, especially about Fessenheim, which is a reactor on the on the border near Strasbourg in Germany. That's on a fault line, it's near, it's on, the, it's on a river that could flood. Uh, there are problems there, but there are problems throughout Europe and I think this, uh, this report will not give many of them a clean bill of health. The need for improvements is urgent. Most of the European reactors are located in high population areas where more than 100,000 people live within a circle of 30 kilometres. All in all, the report estimates it will cost up to $32 billion to fix all of the problems across Europe's nuclear sites. The people at Japan's new nuclear watchdog are putting lessons learned from the Fukushima Daiichi disaster into practice. Members of the Nuclear Regulation Authority want to expand evacuation zones around the nuclear plants. And they say residents should be armed with iodine tablets to protect against radiation exposure. NRA officials released a draft of new guidelines for dealing with nuclear disasters. They're recommending evacuation zones around facilities expand from the current 10 kilometers to 30. The new guidelines would cover more municipalities from the current 45 in 15 prefectures to 135 in 21 prefectures. The draft says municipal authorities should revise their emergency response plans by next March. It also includes proposals such as instructing residents to stay indoors during nuclear disasters. And it says iodine tablets should be distributed to people who live within 50 kilometers of a nuclear plant. Iodine can prevent thyroid damage resulting from airborne radiation exposure. But the tablets can have side effects, so the new guidelines call for authorities to explain the risks before distribution. They also say that maximum distance between nuclear plants and their emergency response centers should be increased from the current 20 kilometers to 30. They would prohibit locating these off-site buildings within 5 kilometers of facilities. The Fukushima Daiichi Response Center was that close to the plant. High radiation levels for staff to evacuate. And while officials at the NRA plan for any future challenges, they're also focused on the present. They'll designate the Fukushima plant a special nuclear facility by the end of the month that will allow them to supervise the decommissioning process. Tokyo Electric Power Company is scrapping the facility in line with the plan submitted to the government. The Nuclear Regulation Authority currently has no input. Designating Fushima Daiichi a special nuclear facility allows NRA officials to submit plans to stabilize the plant's cooling system and prevent the spread of radioactive pollution. The authority would also be able to monitor on-site work and the development of safety technology. And it could order revisions to the decommissioning process. We will do our utmost to ensure a safe decommissioning process, anticipating a wide range of possibilities. NRA Chair Shunichi Tanaka says the decommissioning job is expected to take about 30 years. Japan has 16 off-site emergency response centers. Five of them are still located within five kilometers of a nuclear plant. The guidelines also propose extending the evacuation area around plants to 30 kilometers, triple the current radius. The new rules will be finalized by the end of the month. 
Tanaka notes the NRA is only responsible for making assessments on nuclear safety. He says the authority will not make judgments on whether idled reactors should be allowed to be restarted once they meet current standards. at the Fukushima site itself, um, it, it's very difficult to overstate how difficult the work is going to be um, at that site. There, there will need to be new technologies and new methodologies created to be able to, to enable them to clean this site up. And um, some of these technologies don't exist yet. So there's a long way to go with that. Uh, however, um, you know, from all the information that I've seen, the this, this site does seem to be stabilized. It is, it is, the work is proceeding. Um, they are continuing to keep the reactors cool and to treat the water that they're using to cool the reactors, and, and so that situation is stable. But there's a long, long way to go. Um, the, uh, the establishment of the new regulator is something that, quite frankly, um, one might have liked to have seen happen much sooner, but um, they have reached that point now. Um, they have identified uh, commissioners um, parallel to, to, to ourselves. Uh, who will lead this new agency. Um, and uh, so and I've seen the names in the rosters of the people. They look like good people, so that's, that's very encouraging. Um, and the situation in, in the country is very difficult. Um, the, the government, the regulators, the, the, light, the, the operators all lost the confidence of the public. And we've seen that in the form of demonstrations in, in the streets of Tokyo. And so the, the fact that the Japanese government is now faced with a very, very hard decision about the future of nuclear power um, is a direct consequence of that loss of, uh, of faith. And that's something that once you lose it, it's very difficult to build it back. But uh, we are watching the situation very closely because we have so many connections with Japan. The life of the single mouse is a joke. There are so many mice dying constantly that one death is completely negligible. They are the disposable animal. Local government in Korean city demand to TEPCO to accept these the scrapings. It came soil. from it came from their plant. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The radiation. Yeah. Uh, so back to the plant. Yeah. But TEPCO refused refused that. So the, I, I mean, left to the corner of the school. Left on the corner of the school because mm -hmm. TEPCO would not take it back. And I think, you know, the contamination, the radioactivity that we're talking about, uh, which is going to create millions of cancers and deformities, and, and this is permanent. This is in the gene pool for all time. It's not like if we can, uh, you know, go through a couple of generations, we can repair ourselves. That's one of the devastating things. Uh, depleted uranium, I mean, you know, is being shot in shooting galleries in the United States. Uh, you know, it, it, there just seems to be a, a free and open season on, on this kind of contamination of, of, of environments uh, with, with this 
radioactive material, but think about the contamination of the psychological environment, of the mental environment, the twisting of information in such ways that, uh, or, or the, the holding back of information and replacing it with disinformation, uh, pr 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 presenting a fraudulent account of what is real, uh, presenting a, a basis for a public mythology. It's, it's, a, it's a toxification and a, a pollution of the psychological environment, the mental environment. But no one weeps for the mass, for its life is worth less than zero. Just another cold fact of life on this horrifying planet. A Japanese mining company has succeeded in extracting shell oil for the very first time in the nation. A technician of the Japan Petroleum Exploration showed black crude oil in a flask at the Ayukawa oil and gas field in Akita Prefecture on Wednesday. Shell oil is contained in hard rock layers deep underground. Engineers started drilling on Monday, pumping acid 1,800 meters into the ground to dissolve the hard bedrock. Company officials will do further studies to find out whether it can profit from production. Officials say they could produce up to 100 million barrels of shell oil in Akita Prefecture. That's equal to nearly 10% of Japan's annual crude oil consumption. Workers who do speak up, who do stand up, go through hell. I mean, they're attacked. Living hell. They're living hell. They're attacked, they're harassed, and the intimidation... I was asked other... to leave my church. Because people that worked at TVA, just being seen talking to me in a hallway or in a parking lot or in a grocery store could cost people their jobs. That's, that's the kind of harassment that you can expect. Now watch this. Look, a snake's up in the tree. Honey badger don't care. Honey badger don't give a shit. It just takes what it wants.